first quarter. Jake DeLome to Moussin Muhammad. Hit by Brian Scott. It's a fumble. Keith Brooking recovers. Ensuing focus, Warwick Dunn. Getting it done for the undefeated Falcons. Yeah, and I think you're starting to see Alex Gibbs' effect on this offensive line. The north-south running to get through the hole quick, get your head going downfield, and get what you can. And then DeLome, the Panthers off a of bye week, zip to Moosin Muhammad. Nice play here, 23-yard catch. Sets up a Deshaun Foster tough touchdown run. We're tied at seven. Now it's 13-10 Atlanta third quarter. Dunn is stopped. Vic hit by Brandon Short behind the play. They were trying to smack him around today with the Panthers. Yeah, I, I thought that the Panthers, and, and this is what they do and what they do best. Their front seven taking advantage of what they, they, they can do in terms of hitting the quarterback. They want to hit the running back. They want to be very physical at the line of scrimmage. And then... Kevin, after the Vic retaliates there, you see it in the flags go for everybody. So, the grudge match, and remember Carolina in the Super Bowl last year, Atlanta made the playoffs year. These two teams, you know, not the fans from each city can drive to the other one's park. Then Kevin Mathis, Woo! Kevin Mathis, who's picked, sealed it in overtime last year on ESPN Sunday Night Football, does it again to Carolina. Kevin Mathis, and chances are his 35-yard <laughs> return would help the Falcons go on to beat Carolina 27-10. The defending NFC champs are 1-2, but Mike Vick, new coach Jim